Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have 15 favourites in 15 minutes. So let's try and keep it to 15 minutes. Books starting off. Really, really into reading. This year I have found techniques to help me focus and stick to reading and to reduce screen time, phone time, and I'm really enjoying it. At the moment I am reading the second book in the Court of Thorns and Roses. And so I had to really think about that acronym. And also I'm distracted by the two squirrels having a scrap in a tree outside. Uh, so this is by Sarah J Mass. It's a fantasy uh, book collection. I think there's five or six in this. And now she's moved on to a different sort of um, collection. But I'm really enjoying this. It's complete escapism fantasy. You've got a high fairy lords with different courts. You've got a human girl who gets goes over into another realm. And if you like that kind of thing, you would really enjoy this. It's quite well written and there's a romance in the background. And I'm really enjoying the second book. You can see I've read nearly half. I've been at this for like a fortnight. I'm trying to do 24 books in 2024 and I'm ahead of schedule. This I just wanted to talk about because it's not a favourite for this month. I think I finished it in, yeah, I think I finished it mid-February, so it's recent. Uh, and this is uh, Robert Galbraith, The Ink Black Heart. It is a strike novel. So Robert Galbraith is a pen name for J.K. Rowling. And um, Strike is this kind of grumpy, taciturn detective. He has a sidekick or partner, it's a bit more fair. Uh, Robin and they uh, she comes in as a receptionist and ends up being his partner in the business they have a really nice rapport and it's a really complicated murder investigation missing persons slash murder um, oh no this one's a murder sometimes they start as missing persons uh, it's really complicated I tried to read this last year really struggled um, with it on audible and decided to actually read the hardback and once I got over the first couple of chapters, I was just completely hooked. I always love these books. This is about the sixth one. There's a more recent one out and I hope to read that in the next couple of months. Highly recommend, but stick with it. It's a bit slow going at first. Book number three is Healthy Made Simple by Ella Mills. This year we decided to overhaul our diet and take a look at reducing some things and more importantly being increasing our intake of other things uh, more vegetables more plants i found that i didn't really cook much with legumes pulses more different kinds of grains that were more whole grain and this has really expanded my repertoire and made my cooking more vibrant more healthy this particular book her most recent one is the sort of simplest one of her books and it's really accessible Everything I've made from this book, my family have really enjoyed. And I did mean to bookmark my favourites. Uh, 15 Minute Black Doll, we had that on Sunday with some rice. Um, we have a lot of tofu recipes. We've made a lot of the pasta things where you put a lot of vegetables in there. Uh, sunshine bowls. Um, yeah, really, honestly, really nice things like flapjacks and tray bakes so that CC can have something sweet, but it's not processed. So we've really cut out processed stuff. Loads of smoothie recipes for the mornings. Um, I'm trying to find this, my favourite. Oh, the, um, like a bean and pasta tray bake. That's the kind of thing we have all the time. There is a black bean and sweet potato chilli in my slow cooker that smells really good. Um, honestly, get this book. Um, if you just, even if you do eat meat uh, or whatever kind of diet you have, if you maybe just cooked out of here once or twice a week, the recipe is really easy and you're going to get loads of energy from all those vegetables and more variety in what you eat. Um, going on to skincare next. Um, this has been my favourite. SBF for quite a while. This is the Sarah Chapman Skinny Sis Skin Insurance SBF 50. Um, it's just a really nice refined formula. It is, says it's invisible and I feel like it is. It's a nice pump thing. It doesn't leave a cast and also you can put makeup products on it quite quickly without that sticky thing where you can't blend your makeup. It, uh, Sarah Chapman um, skincare is expensive but it's really nice and um, 
I usually wait until I get an offer or um, find a code in the magazine or something and stock up because Ed likes this SPF too. It is 50. I tend to do 30 in cooler months and then 50 when there's more sunlight, but uh, I'm tackling hyperpigmentation at the moment with prescription uh, um, skincare, which I'll share in a minute. So I just feel like I should be doing 50 all the time. And this is a lovely formula. As I just mentioned, uh, I'm working with um, a sort of aesthetics doctor who's absolutely amazing. I will link her down below if you're in the Bristol area. And um, she prescribed the tretinoin cream from Abaji for me to deal with some melasma and uneven pigmentation. I'm now working in um, the blender, which is um, like a, I think it's hydroquinine or hydro something um, and you mix the two together I'm still building up like I do get some flaking and stuff but it's nothing extreme it's just in the sensitive areas um, but it's I can see now like six weeks eight weeks in I'm actually getting real results um, my skin is more even I mean I'm hardly wearing any makeup and I wouldn't normally do that to come on here um, so my advice would just be invest in um, good skincare and see a specialist if you want noticeable, very definite results, but with guidance and safely. Um, other skincare stuff in terms of hydration, you know that I've got dehydrated and sort of a drier skin type. So I'm always looking to um, add more hydration later in the day. Um, I like this Charlotte Tilbury Magic Hydrator Mist. I think this is quite new. This is just nice if you are wearing a bit more makeup or if I've used powder, which isn't very often. Um, sometimes like maybe two o'clock-ish, I will just feel a bit dull and I'll just mist a bit of this and then press it in and it really revives my complexion and just keeps everything looking fresh. And it's just really nice. Um, pleasant smell it's not sticky or tacky I really like Charlotte Tilbury skincare I know she makes all these crazy claims but I would say not all of it but I would say like 70% of the skincare range I just feel pretty and my skin looks plump and dewy when I use her products um, in terms of this one this is really good and it's small even smaller than that small and portable for your handbag this is a Tatcha balm and it is called the treatment and touch-up balm for eyes and face so this is a clear fragrance-free balm but it's not a lip balm really i get areas where i get really literally like flaky and i can like press it in here i get really dry and like around the side of my nose and then also i use a brow pencil um and i don't really use a wax or anything so sometimes when i've done my brow color i just do that and where I get a bit crepey and it just again it's another layer of like hydration and sometimes I'll even run this um under my eyes before I put concealer on so that it goes on smoothly this is a hero product uh, again toucher the serum stick I will link all of these things if I can find them this is something I got from Space NK um, you know I really like rare beauty and so these are both from the um is it the Find Comfort range? Body and Hair Fragrance Mist. This is really nice to refresh your hair, like if you've been cooking or whatever and you think, oh no, can, you know, is my hair not fresh? Or it's just that lavendery kind of chamomile soothing scent. If I have a shower in the evening and I'm just gonna put PJs on to lounge around, I'll often spray this a bit. Or if I've had a phase, the whole way through February, I had some sort of post-viral thing. I was tired all the time. I've been battling with toothache from some dental treatment that needed tweaking. And I just haven't wanted to wear strong fragrances. And this has just been really cozy and nice. Um, and also from Rare Beauty, part of that range is this sort of, um, um, like a, what would you call it? Aromatherapy pen, stop and soothe pen. So it's just like a gel that you like click Ooh, and the gel comes out and then you put it, I put it on like a pulse points and it doesn't smell like that other problem product. It's more, it's got like a bit of a minty herbal smell, but it really calms you down. Like I had to go to the dentist yesterday and I got myself in a total state. So I sat in my car outside the dentist before, did some breathing exercises and applied some of this. So again, Rare Beauty, I love a lot of her stuff. Um, okay, makeup, haven't got, men oh, 
crossing the bridge between makeup and skincare. This is the Christian Dior um, reformulated lip balm. So they've just changed it a bit. The packaging is nicer, I think. It's got the canage print on the top and it's actually got like a magnet now. But they've reformulated the plain satin lip balm. This is my favourite high-end lip balm. I think a couple of years ago I did a short video comparing the Chanel lip balm that's in a stick form, the Hermes one and this one, and this one comes out on top for me because it's really hydrating, but it's thin. The bullet's quite hard. You don't get loads of gloopy products, which I hate, on your mouth. I mean, I like a Laneige lip mask, but that's at night. We're not doing anything or putting makeup on. I trowel it on and go to sleep. But this is the nicest lip balm. This is great under a matte lipstick or just if you just want to wear a bit of liner and then this. It, it has a kind of a baby product taste, but it doesn't bug me and it's the best lip balm. Okay, makeup. I have this Maybelline Perfecta 4-in-1 Glow. I end up wearing this most days. This is like a cheaper dupe for that Hollywood Flawless Filter from Charlotte Tilbury, but I actually prefer this. I like the big sponge thing. If I'm in a rush in the morning before school, I'll put this on. I'll do a bit of pencil through my brows, mascara, curl my lashes, that lip balm go. It just like evens out without much coverage. You get a glow, but it's not too much. Um, it just kind of comes out like that. Um, I'm the lightest shade in this. The shades, if you are ultra porcelain, I think that even this lightest shade you can see might be a bit dark for you. But on the other hand, it's very sheer and it blends out. So, I mean, I could even apply a little bit now um, and then just blend it with my fingertips. Look at that sheen. Um, it's just really nice. If you don't want to wear foundation and you just want something to just make you look glowy and hydrated and everything and blur a little bit. I mean, it claims to be a primer, a concealer, a highlighter and a BB cream, which I think is a bit extra. It's not a foundation and it's not really a coverage product. But if like me, you don't mind showing your natural skin, especially now that I've been working on my skin and it's better than it's been for a long time. Um, you could put a little bit of this on, blend it with a brush or your fingers, maybe brighten under the eyes with some with a different product and like that's it you know if you don't want to wear much makeup it's this is my third one that's how good it is and it's about 10 pounds really love this product and then some merit things so these are going to count as one and these are going to count as one but i've got different shades so i'm still completely obsessed with the flush balm and my favorite is still fox which is this kind of very flattering terracotta -y color you know i like a neutral not too pinky blush that if I haven't got time to, I've got a bit of bronzer hanging around from earlier there, but I can put it where I'd put my bronzer and bring it more in towards the cheek and then just blend it with my fingers. Merit products are not long wear. They're very hydrating and dewy and they just sink into the skin if you've got dry skin. However, it's really no big deal. Look how healthy I look on that side compared to that side. To just take one with you, chuck it in your bag or your pocket and just... Put it, you can put it on your lips and on your cheeks. Uh, I just like this kind of messy, not too perfected. It's like my brows, I put a bit of pencil through, but I don't, I do a messy brow. I don't do anything too neat and tidy. I just want to look like me, but a little bit better. And then I got a set of mini ones, so they're even more portable. And this one is persimmon, which is just a little bit warmer and like more ready. And that's quite nice. As like a lip tint so i still love my merit and then they've got a new product out which is um a matte version of their signature lip i love this packaging chunky i got the two most neutral colors because i've noticed that when the like dior and chanel holiday makeup comes out i go crazy buying um all of the seasonal holiday sparkly stuff and red lips and then i hardly wear them <clears throat> so I'm trying to buy less makeup and buy really wearable makeup. I got Maison and Classic and they're both really neutral. The thing to say about these is that they are matte, but they are not drying. This one is Classic and that's even lighter and a bit pinky. They're non-drying and they're just matte and chic and comfortable. 
so I highly recommend them. I love the original signature lip too, and they're at 14.57, so we are gonna go over the 15 minutes, but just quickly, item 14 and 15 are the two bags that I've been wearing this month, and these are, I think, the only bags I've really worn. If I want a smaller bag for an evening or a meal, or something where I don't need loads of stuff, I've been using my Alma BB, um, which is in epi leather and it's got silver hardware. This turned out to be a great decision to let my Damier Abin one go and get this uh, in black and silver. It's become my go-to black and silver bag. I know it's small, but I feel like it holds a ton for its size. Um, you just learn what SLGs to use and stuff. And it's just so cute. I never get sick of it. And I think it is more chic than the patterned kind of canvas one, um, especially if you want it to be something that you can wear to events and stuff. I absolutely love it. I'm obviously having a silver phase. And then um, when I need something a bit more and I want to take my book with me and maybe an umbrella or a water bottle or just other stuff, then I've been using my Totem Tea Lock bag, which I've really grown more fond of. Um, when I first got it, I was a bit worried for a while that I'd made a mistake in choosing the sort of bigger handbag over the clutch with a crossbody strap. I might still add that one day because I really do like this bag, but it is quite big, but there are times when you just want a bigger throw and go bag, but it's really chic and it's a change from a tote. This is a shoulder strap only, um, and I'm still not sure how I feel about shoulder bags. On the whole, I prefer crossbody or just hand carry, but I'm getting there. I have this one, um, and sort of similar size and function is my YSL college bag in large, which is also black. So if you would be interested in a comparison between my two black shoulder bags, please leave a comment down below. If you'd also like a comparison between the medium college bag and the large college bag, if that's useful to you. I know it's not like a really trendy style anymore, but I think it's really classic and it's my favorite bag from YSL because it's got a little top handle. Um, yeah, I'm really enjoying this. It's very light when it's empty, so you can put quite a lot in it. And I do like having a paperback or a Kindle with me these days at all times. Um, so it's been one of those two. In terms of fashion, I'm really liking that it's a bit warmer and wearing these little knitted jackets. This one is from H&M and it's really the perfect size and weight for me. I also have it in black with gold hardware. I can link that. It does get little snags, but it's fine. And I love that this one's got silver buttons. It looks good with, I'm wearing blue jeans today. Um, I bought another pair of Samba trainers. I forgot to bring those down. I bought the black suede ones with the kind of beige. Uh, I kind of rushed a bit because my videos tend to go long. This was meant to be 15 things in 15 minutes, but it's actually 15 things in 18 minutes. So please forgive me. I went as quick as I could. And I really had some other things and I really cut out things that weren't true favorites. Um, I will do maybe a lifestyle favourites because people on Instagram have been asking me about um, like nutrition and supplements and things that I'm doing to try and get my energy levels back up to where they used to be and all of that good stuff. So if you want like something like that, let me know and I will see you next week. Take care.